Yeah, there's some electronics. Yeah, so you were just saying that boat, it may actually been out here just from the hur a hurricane or something pushed it out yeah, here. Not yeah. somebody yeah. may yeah. not just brought it out here and left it. The storm could have brought it to this location. That's because the river is only just right there and, and just over there is I-95 and that St. John's right there, it could have easily gotten in here. High water is crazy, so but I don't know, I'm thinking that somebody probably drove it. Well, it's the mysterious boat, the abandoned boat. The abandoned boat. That's FL Does anybody? Nobody. Anybody know the story? Well, you ready to uh, take the boat out? Yeah. Yeah, ready to go. Found ourselves a boat out yeah, here. Yeah, we're gonna fix it up. Fix this thing up. Yeah, we're gonna fix it up. What, what should we name this boat? SS wreckage. SS wreckage. wreckage. Hi everybody, I'm Florida Trailblazer, exploring the history and wilderness of Florida. Today I'm out here roaming these beautiful woods by the St. John's River floodplain. Enjoying the nature. There's a lot of amazing history in these places. You see for thousands of years, Native American Indians lived and hunted all throughout these places. They thrived. There were villages and Indian mounds place of beauty history. This is the canal. And there's a lot of open areas I hiked through, some of those marsh areas and floodplains. Really beautiful out there, wide open spaces just go on for miles. When we get into these parts, a lot of dense hammocks, palm forest. And it's really beautiful in here as well. He spoke the language of the Mayaka, so it makes sense. I mean, the Mayaka spoke the language of the Ace and the and that word I never pronounced right. It's one of the words you can't find the pronunciation for. It. But uh, you, you can't tell which Indians live in, in any area at one time. See some pottery fragments here on the Indian mound. That one there has a texture to it. Exploring far out here into the floodplain. Behind me is this old Indian mound. You're starting to see it there through the woods. So I'm out here with these guys and 21st century expedition. This is that we're near the Addison Canal, right? What's the history behind that? Uh, I was a, I don't remember exactly. exactly, but it was a canal they built in the early 1900s, late 1800s, early, I think around 1912 or so. Okay. And the best part to see is an enchanted forest where you can actually see the Coquina rock, the bedrock. But the, cool. the canal comes through here. They, they made it not too far past this. It kind of goes out to the St. John's River, which is out this way. But uh, I don't remember what they were attempting with the canal, but it was... Uh, so it went through this area? It went right there. Tide is still in okay. here. That's it right there. See that palm? Oh, okay. The we're, palm tree. We're hiking towards that area or along here? We're going to be on the long canal. Oh, awesome. Here. we got to cross this. Yeah, right. it's a good idea to always visit the Enchanted Forest because it's a small little wilderness area with all the different habitats in it. Um, ecosystems. It's got all the 
has a Kamex, it's got the, it's got the planes like this, it's got the pine scrub. It's, it's on the Atlantic ridge line, yeah. so you actually get to go up the ridge line. What's interesting about Enchanted Forest, it still has a section of the General Joseph Hernandez uh, trail. It was originally about a 16 foot, 8 foot, 16 foot wide road that connected St. Augustine to uh, St. Uh, Fort Pierre. And it was a, a, an army trail that went from St. Augustine to Fort Pierce that the Spaniards used. That's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's a neat place. Yeah, I, I remember you telling me about that. Put yeah. the rocks there, right? Yeah, yeah. Coquina and there's yeah. like real high cliffs and little caves. Yeah, and stuff. they put oh. the trail on the Atlantic. There's two ridges in Florida. There's the Lake Hill Ridge, which is the high point. I've been on that. There's the Atlantic Coast Ridge. Okay. I know. Yeah, that's it runs them at like 75 miles or something like that. Yeah. Like that. It's not real high, but you notice it when you go up. It's not like 300 feet like you got over in uh, in uh, Lake County. These ridges, uh, hundreds of thousands of years ago, were the only pieces of land above the ocean. In yeah. Florida. So they were islands almost, right? Well, Florida was a desert at one time. Yeah. That's why we have the camels and the elephants here. Yeah, the, the fossils. Are the, yeah. You go to Central Florida, you have Bone Valley, and they find all kinds of fossils down there. Yeah, that, uh, sure. they, they, they have mastodons, all that. Well, you can find them just in the rivers. It's but true. Uh, the actually scientists theorize that the, the elephant species and the camel species actually originated here in North America. Because uh, uh, Florida, especially, because it was desert, arid climate at one time, where the elephants and the Camels thrive. You know, it's amazing. We're out here just in, llamas. These, in these floodplains. And it's just a canal. You might saw them, I think, oh, it's just a boring floodplain, but it's beautiful out here. And here we are discussing all this history just from this canal. We kind of what led into this other history. It's amazing how it happened. You could technically, so learn. <laughs> since they dug into the earth, you could technically you could come across an exposed mastodon tusk in the canal itself. You never oh, know. Oh, wow. I mean, that's not like it's gonna happen. I'm saying there's, okay. there's, there's a that explains there. over in Central Florida. I found we found that uh, sea biscuit. Yeah, right. and that's where they were digging. Yeah. 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 Yeah.